Hey everyone, so this is day three. Fix the mic. Um, day three of a hundred of, uh, I guess, yeah, just me recording. You know, it's interesting, I was thinking about why I'm even recording these videos, and I know I wanted to record more videos um, just to get more comfortable in front of the video, put more content out, more ideas. I feel like the more you speak out loud and actually get your thoughts off your mind, the more room you make for new ideas and new thoughts or deeper, or even expanding the thoughts that you've already had. And so it's like, I mean, it's the same thing as journaling, you know, as long as you're writing it down, as long as you're like taking it out of your mind, it's like, you don't have to worry about remembering it anymore. It's been said, even though I don't think that's really true. Once you think it, it's already there. You can recall it. You just have to know how to. Um, and that takes practice, so. But that's not what I'm here to talk about. So, why am I doing this? Um, because I feel like there's a huge change, shift in my body, in me. Um, I can already see a difference um, just with how comfortable I am uh, talking to people compared to how I used to be. I feel like more me is coming out. Um, usually, when I first meet people, I kind of hold back a little bit, not give them all of me until I decided if they were ready for me, worthy of me, whatever. Um, and now I'm seeing that, that it's really not my decision um, on who to, who to let in. It should just be, I should be myself because when I'm not being myself, I'm actually, um, I'm causing resistance, I'm causing strain, I'm holding, I'm holding my true self in and it's hurting me. So I'm hurting myself because I don't want to give myself to everybody, which doesn't make sense. I just came up with this. Yeah, I guess that does make sense. Well, it doesn't make sense to do it. So, and you know, I'm, I'm recording these videos also because I could do this on my own and not tell anybody and just be like, man, like I've seen such a huge change in the last hundred days in myself. Dogs are barking, pausing. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Had to let go of my crazy dogs. Um, this will not be edited, so you will see all this. But that's. I don't know if that's just a lazy thing or just, I just want to keep it raw. Like, I don't want you to think that I'm um, taking out something I say or editing something or this isn't scripted. This is just off the top of my head. I don't know what I'm going to say when I sit down. I just decide that I'm going to sit down. And even when I um, think about what I'm going to say, when I get here, um, I kind of let that go and I don't even use it because I don't even remember what I was planning on saying. So, so anyways, since we got distracted, um, so yeah, this is day three. Uh, yesterday was Cinco de Mayo, my uh, puppy's birthday, and the day before that was my dad's birthday. So it was a good day one and day two to start off. Uh, my dad's out of town. He's actually at his home place uh, where he was born in Mississippi, um, which I think is awesome for him to go back there on his birthday, spend time with uh, you know his family. And he's getting older, so he's in his 70s now. So it's uh, it's good to get back and see as much family as you can. Family is important. Um, so, so yeah, I guess you know. The, I mean, the main reason why I'm recording these videos is for myself to see the changes, to see how I go from day one to day a hundred, and just how how drastically you can change who you are. Not even who you are, but how you become more of who you are, and how life can get so much better just in a hundred days. And I feel like if I can show people that just in a hundred days, like significant awesome things can happen then maybe maybe it'll make it a little easier for someone else to actually try to do something with their life that they've been holding back on and I feel like uh, I feel like we always make excuses and feel like it would take forever to get to wherever we really want to be and so we stay in our comfort zone stay at that job that we think we need you know busting our ass for somebody else when you could actually work less for yourself and be just as happy, if not actually happier. Um, I'm living proof of it. So I don't know. I mean, I I didn't inherit money. I did this all on my own. Well, with the wife, we didn't we didn't get any money from our parents. Uh, we got a little gifts, a little support, but um, not enough to start the business. But we did it, you know, just off of. I don't even know, sheer willpower. We didn't even know if we were going to be able to pay the rent the first month that the rent kicked in. And 
I just took that chance. So, but that's just me. That's my story. So, and I can't tell everyone to just take a chance because maybe that's not what they're supposed to do. That's not. That's not how they're supposed to achieve their goals. Um, but maybe it is. You know, I think it's each each and every person's got a different way to do it, and you got to find your own way to get out of your comfort zone. I don't think the. You know, there's there's many ways to do it, but you know, you got to figure out which one works for you. But you you should figure something out, and um, I don't know. That's you know, the the more I do it, the more I get out of my comfort zone, the the better things become, and um, it expands me more. You know, every time every time I do something that I either think I couldn't do or I'm afraid to do, now it now it opens up more possibilities because it's like. You know, I just wanted to be a public speaker. That'd be cool to, you know, hold some events around Plainfield because that's where my studio is. We're gonna go to local businesses and local high schools and stuff like that. And then I got an opportunity out of town. And then I got another opportunity out of town. So I was like, okay, I guess I don't have to limit myself to just a small area. I can kind of just go wherever. And now I have, um, well, I don't want to say too much, but to say my my opportunities keep growing and getting bigger and you know me just wanting to have a small speaking job uh, looks like it could potentially be something huge and it's kind of scary but I don't know it's it's not gonna hurt me to do it like I don't know where the fear comes the fear comes from failing I guess if I I don't know, if I told you guys that I traveled the world and tried to be a public speaker, but it didn't work out, like, would you think I was a failure? Like, I actually traveled the world. To me, that's not failing. Like, you're you're learning from that, and if I do public speaking and it doesn't work out and I have to go somewhere else, then, then I'll figure that out when that happens. I, I don't think public speaking is the end all anyways. I don't, I, I mean, it wasn't the beginning, so why would it be the end? Um... I don't want to be public speaking for the next 30, 40 years. Although it might be um, part of what I do for the next 30, 40 years, but I don't think I'll just be going around speaking. You know, I have I have more dreams and goals that I want to hit, and instead of instead of trying to force them to happen, I'm just kind of going with whatever is presented to me. You know, taking the easiest route and opportunities for speaking came up and that was definitely something that I was thinking way down the line. I thought I would write a book first and then like do speaking engagements to promote my book and then maybe turn that into public speaking because now people have read a book that I've written and they want, you know, they want my advice, they want my knowledge, they want my insight, whatever. Um, but I guess I don't need to write a book for that to happen. <laughs> so I'm going to keep recording these every day. Um, I think it, it seems, it, it's funny because at first I didn't even think I'd be able to do this 100 days straight. And now I'm on day three and I'm like, I don't see any reason why not. Like, it's not hard for me to sit down and talk. Um, I do it every day. So if I set a few minutes aside to actually talk to the camera, you know, it's like writing in my diary. Um, and, I, and I have and I have abundance of time, so. But we all do, we just don't utilize it properly, I don't think. You know, so many people that I see complaining about their lives and um, and yet they still go out drinking on the weekends or watching a TV show or Netflix or going to the movies or doing this or that. And it's like, if you're so unhappy with your life, then wouldn't you spend your free time trying to make it better? Not just make you happy for that moment. I don't know just just a thought you know like I said there's many ways to do this but if you're not happy with your current situation then you shouldn't spend every free moment um, just doing things that you enjoy which is weird but maybe those things that you enjoy can actually possibly potentially become jobs and you should be looking at that instead of just you know living for the weekend so you can party it up and numb yourself and forget about how stressful your job is just to go back to it on Monday. Um, I did it all the time. I did it week in, week out. Looking forward to Friday. Friday night, first thing when I got off work, oh man, I need a drink. I wasn't an alcoholic, but it was like that. It was like a celebration of not having to work for the next 48 hours. 
And then before I knew it, it was Sunday night. And besides maybe getting some chores done, maybe not. I really hadn't done anything. I hadn't put any effort into my life or me. But yet I wanted to complain about my job. So I think that was more of like a self-reflection. Like, hey, if you got a problem with it, do something about it. Stop sitting around and watching TV during the week. You know, you get home from work and you're so exhausted. But, like, I don't know, you got to find that energy. And when you're doing something that you really enjoy, I think the energy is kind of there. You can be completely exhausted, but if someone came up to you and was like, hey, I got tickets to your favorite concert, your favorite artist, you know, but we're leaving in 20 minutes, I'm sure you would muster up the energy to go see them. If they're, if, if it was free, you get like, all expenses paid. You get to go see your favorite, favorite artist, favorite sport, favorite, you know, whatever your favorite um, thing to see or do is. Um, I'm pretty sure we'd all do it. So where's that energy? right so find that energy um see what happens yep i think that's about it um thank you guys for watching i love and appreciate you um like i said before i'm i'm probably i'm well i'm they haven't been posted yet as of this recording so i'm on day three and still haven't recorded and haven't posted anything yet so um, i'm gonna get on top of that said I was going to get on top of it yesterday, but that day got away from me, and it is what it is. I'm not going to beat myself up about it. It's over with. So, I'm going to get these up. Um, please comment, like, share, subscribe. Um, let me know what you want to hear me talk about. Maybe something specific that questions I can answer. Um, any specific topics you want me to kind of talk about briefly. I'm more than open to doing anything. Um, and actually, some of the questions I may just answer within the comments. If it's if it doesn't seem like it needs a video, there's you know multiple questions. We'll we'll get there. You know, we'll I don't want to I don't want to plan anything. We're taking this day by day, so give me as much feedback as possible. That'll give me the opportunity to give you as much content as possible. Um, I thank you guys for watching again, and um, I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful day. Peace.